so uh, we know way too much about the whole <laughs> Naruto universe. You try scrubbing the white <laughs> and you're working. You guys are working on what to say to your sister. What's Jovan doing? Jovan doing? Um, I want to go downstairs and make sure everything's uh, hunky dory. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go uh, do there's, another. There's blood everywhere. Inspection. Okay. The there's blood bleeding. everywhere. No, 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 no. No, okay. Could be. Merrick just likes to make that up to I, make more look, scared. Uh, I'm gonna go. Merrick's pretty I'm pessimistic go just things. Inspect. Merrick won't come in the mail then. Merrick has seen rituals go bad. Merrick has seen a lot of things go bad. There, uh, the there is now. no change to the basement. Hmm. Alright. Um, do I do I think that holy water would be like a good idea to spread around or? It definitely the, make you feel better. better. I don't want to like destroy the body though, in case that we just like yeah, corrode right. away the, the coffin time. or the body. Remember so, that one time we did that with the book? That's right. We really did. Not go well. When did? Never mind. Um. <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, I remember that. That was a bad idea. Okay. Um. Seemed pretty good at the time. Did, we already made breakfast, right? No. Was no. Breakfast. As soon as we I'm came. I'm hungry. Down. Yeah. Well, I, I was thinking I, I, our job would come to work and make breakfast around. for us. Let's I mean, see. I can still make omelets. Like, I mean, I'm not a great cook. Look, but I'll I'll make the food. Yeah, so it's probably about like late morning at this yeah. point. You'd yeah. expect our yeah, talk yeah. to be in probably by the afternoon. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Do we usually open in the morning for like that first early morning breakfast? Mm, call? Not if you don't have any customers. I don't think. Which okay. is probably what our talk suspected. Okay. Look, do we did we remember to to flip the sign to open this time? Or? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> let's turn on the core sign. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make sure people know what. Right. People know that yeah, the Coors, Coors is side. delicious Coors Light. <laughs> we have delicious Coors Ale. <laughs> yes. All right. So basically, we'll we'll get like uh, a, a morning repast going, so that we're not starving. So as you're eating breakfast, um, great. You see, uh -oh. you you're all sitting at the table eating. Merrick's uh -huh. working on his what he's going to say to his sister, and you see tromping down the path by one of the canals comes a very familiar looking halfling. Yep. And he is fuming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's yeah. strange. I don't, <laughs> I don't understand. We did. Uh, hey, we, we did the best. For, In fact, we've gone above and we beyond. We have gone above and beyond. We yes. didn't just leave. All right, let's yeah. say until he, he, he arrives. We attempted yes. to remedy the story. Not so yet. he comes striding up to the door of the Dulahan, and you heard this <laughs> just a loud knocking. Come in, come in. Come in. Oh, well, I'm open the door. Why, hello. <laughs> you open the door? Yeah. And he stares at you. You here to pick up the package? And he walks past you, and he turns to the three Come windows. In. <laughs> I'm sincerely hoping you have a good explanation for your conduct. For our conduct? Well, we went okay, above what? and beyond. Did you not hear what happened? What do you know? It was so Elrath and heard? those morons who attacked us. Wait, you were attacked? We were attacked. Did, by forgive a group me. Of, by the a group most of I'm hearing is from my, my constituent in the boat. Oh, yes. Who said that he saw the package. <clears throat> being opened on the river, oh. and then he sailed away, not wanting to yes. incur its now, back. Excuse me, Nicholas. That story doesn't seem right. We're alive, right? There's a curse. Mm -hmm. Yes, that does seem a bit strange, considering. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. well, let's let's walk through the no, series no, no, of no. events. Yeah. So, Perhaps so, I okay. need to hear it from your side. We, yes. we had loaded it into the boat, and, and picks we were, up some we were going down, the, sure. down the boat. <laughs> Which we, was my intention, that they would be ready for him. Like we were man. attacked by a youth and his friends. Yes. Yes. A, a youth wielding this gauntlet. A youth. Oh, you have the gauntlet? Yes. So so he's, I'm, he's I'm, I'm wearing it, I'm yeah. not like activating it. Wait, but. you... You put it on? Yeah, he, yeah. he said, for a he long said time. since right. last yeah, night. It's fine. I, just, I mean, I just I'm not like it. actively trying to use it because I know it's crazy dangerous. Yeah. Okay, but right. I don't and I'm know guessing you're not wearing it now at breakfast. Like, no. Right. I mean, so yeah, I I as you pull up the yeah. gauntlet, yeah, I'll, he, I'll, I'll, I'll he gauntlet. glances at it. Give me a personality check. Ooh. Using what you get at. Uh, 21. Yeah, I'm actually surprised because I, the, but the reputation of the Keepers is that they have eyes everywhere. Yeah. So I presume that that's someone from the Keepers that actually seen the events that have unfolded. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, so I'm so actually surprised. Maybe, that maybe didn't, they didn't get a very he, accurate. Yeah, he, but, uh, um, he didn't want you to know that he was interested in the gauntlet, but you could right. tell by the way he was looking at it yeah. that he definitely was shocked to see that you had that sort of thing. Yeah. And he kind of, right, know, he glances at it, but then goes, and then like turns away. Anyway, with, so with it, he sends a wind blast at our boat, destroying the crate. Now, so, wait, 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 wait. Who attacked you, specifically? Uh, someone you, uh, Daedra. Elrath, from the rival guild. 
His name we don't know yet because we so, haven't gotten to that part. Yeah. However, so, it is quite clear that he was acting for someone else. Because so you don't know, you like don't that know what guild he's from. That's that's why you don't. Oh, I thought yeah. we knew that they were this other guild. You know he's another know. punk, but you don't know what whose orders he was acting on. Oh, okay, yeah. right, right. Oh, okay. okay. All right, but, so, but we do so, know he's acting on orders because there's no El way Elrat had an item like this and we didn't know about it. So right, he, 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 clearly, he, he had very clear intentions to... We were to halfway there, and, and he and blasted steal. us with this thing, blew the whole thing apart. They, they had he the lost intention. His, he lost his arm. They had the intention of stealing the crate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they wanted to steal it. He lost his arm. Oh, yeah. El, El yeah. Rat, yeah. Well, El Rat um, misused the gauntlet and um, lost his arm. Yeah. Lost control of the magic, and his arm blasted off with a huge gust of wind, much more stronger than uh, you know within the safety margins of the close use. Yeah, my friend here recovered yeah. gauntlet, and I dove into the river to recover the casket. Mm -hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so, then the casket uh, blew. It just blew open in the blast. Yeah, it blew itself yeah, open. Yeah, yeah. What is the what is the curse? Oh, oh uh, yeah, funny, Elrat. Funny that. <laughs> so when the when the, the lid opened, tendrils of shadow just flew everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, it was it, ridiculous. Into, like, into yeah. our shadows, the it surrounding shadows, shadows, into the, the sky. sky. Yeah. You guys are forgetting that. You guys are skipping past. Puts it. down the, his knife. The curse the happens when it was. Exhumed. Right. And that happened way earlier when El Rat hit it with the wind blast. Right. We yeah. knew, and we knew there was a, a curse. shadow went to him, so the curse is on El Rat. Also, one went to Dadriel. I am. Yeah. Oh, I am. You're a Okay. We're, we're glossing over that. <laughs> so he. Glossing over that. So the halfling puts both right, of right. so, so the curse was true. So hold on. The coffin has been opened? Oh, yes. The coffin. It's downstairs right now. The coffin opened How? itself. That's true. It, it, ex it exploded open, open with Daniel yeah, on top of it, blowing him into the air yes. yeah. in the river or in the canal. But I knew that you would not want anything to go wrong, so we recovered no, it. No, we recovered it. At great in expense to us, why right you? Now. Where's yes. the coffin? It's, it's downstairs. downstairs. Here, come. Yeah, come Excellent. I shall be taking it with me. As I thought uh, you might. A moment. Uh, hold on, hold on. It's not doing uh, us I believe here. we need some payment. Yes. I understand you have and been for and, such and we a, would, a we... grudgeous job. We dealt, we got the curse taken care of for you, so now you no longer mm -hmm. have to worry about that. Yes, and also managed to free whatever was inside the coffin. Yeah. Yes, not not on our... Hey, we, uh, I mean, it, was gonna, it was gonna free itself regardless. We didn't expect to be blasted by sonic glow powers. Neither did we expect you to run into that. Interestingly enough, and he uh, stands up from the table and turns left to right and reaches into a small side pouch he has at his side and throws a bag under the counter. You hear it ksh, clink. He goes, your payment, 20 gold. I believe five more than the promised price. That should be enough for any trouble. I must contact my associates. We will come by in a moment. And was, it, was it 15 coffin. gold each or 20? It was, it was 15 Have gold you done uh, okay. anything else since you've had the coffin and what it contains, which I'm assuming you've seen by this point. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. So, uh, upon take, bringing the coffin to here, or bringing the coffin to here, putting it in the basement, we... I can't think of anything that happened. I think we should tell him. It, this is I important to know. Tell me what precisely? Yes. So, all right. Two uh, things. In, in the night, um, our... We were woken by tendrils of shadow. Mm -hmm. Pardon? All right. Tendrils of shadow okay. leaving from our uh, our own shadows, collecting, coalescing, coalescing into uh, into a shadowy, a shadowy, a shadowy being. Oh. Yes. And, being and uh, with a uh, with a skull. Uh, uh, three. Dedril, would you mind grabbing the skull? Oh we, yeah. I managed to banish it now, completely, but the skull remained. Mm -hmm. and a five-eyed skull. Now this is a very nice item. If you wish to pur purchase this, he pushes you it away can. from himself. Um, oh, the, the eyebrows I drew on afterwards. They didn't originally have them. But after my good friend was able to destroy it and turn it, I put it back together and it resealed. Now, Look, see, we, we know very little of what to do here, but please, we, this, we need information. If and this <laughs> opportunity is not going to come again, so I suggest you invest in this What are you scroll. doing? I, I don't I'm want it I'm trying to see, in I'm our trying, possession. I'm trying to get rid of it. Do you know what we should do with it? Wait, you want to buy it? How much for this song? Oh, cool. Here, uh, here. Uh, let's, sidebar, let's sidebar, go. okay. Sidebar. I think it's only five thousand. Five thousand. Five thousand. Look, look. I was thinking maybe when you go when somebody says I, I, I want enough gold to buy studded price. leather armor. How much? Hundred gold. Normal don't stand this. Seems great. One hundred oh. gold. We and need. We what? need knowledge. Knowledge yes. is worth a hundred gold and what this 
and and tell you want us some. Tell us we about demonstrate that we are honest and worthy members. Tell us what's going on. Uh, done. And he picks up he picks up oh, wow. the, and picks up another pouch and throws down another sack. You can count it if you like. And takes the skull and stands up and goes and throws it on the ground. Yes. yes. Oh, I oh, I love just, this guy. Oh, hits, thank you. It hits the ground oh, and goes boom and bounces yep. and clatters a couple times. And he goes and takes out a mace he has at his side and goes. It starts smashing into the thing, and it just won't break. Oh, just, no. <laughs> no, no, you, save your strength, save your strength. We've actually gone all through right, this all already. Right. I understand we need to destroy it. He seems to be embarrassed by his slight slip in his decorum, and he tucks the maze back away and picks up the skull and goes, I see. You should probably Do you keep know it in the how vault. We should... You should keep it in the, your vaults. He tucks it into the pouch at his side. He goes, okay, he, if anyone's going to know how, or be able to find out how to destroy it, it'll be him. So I'm fine with him having it. I will be happy to give you the information you seek. Okay. But not here. I, I Too many concur. prying eyes and possible watchers. That is fair. Indeed. Okay. There is a place near Beggar's River. A small door in the side of a wall. With a symbol of the keepers drawn over it. Dadriel knows the location. Meet me there tonight, and we will discuss precisely what you're going to do about this issue. In the meantime, I'm going to go get my associates. We will cart the coffin away, and that will be the end of this. <laughs> At least on this uh, end. Oh, hey. one more thing. In case it matters, if you gaze into the eyes of... I know. <laughs> Alright. I am well aware. And he, and he is t touches his mace one more time and turns slowly around, and you know he's about to walk out the door mm -hmm. when the door opens. Uh -oh. Striding in now, you can see a tall, lithe-looking humanoid. However, he looks a little odd. His huh. gait is like a human's, but it's slightly taller and more elongated than you'd expect it to be. Ooh. And he seems to have ears that are slightly crimped on either side. Um, what? <laughs> Dadriel recognizes this. Actually, I guess. Eh, Joe and Mike, you guys are from small towns. Yeah. Dadriel recognizes this as a half elf. Yeah. Which is a rare sight to see. Because uh -huh. they're often okay. universally hated. Oh, really? Because elves don't like them oh. because they're a marriage of humans and elves, right. and that's like oh. impure. And humans don't like them because they're creepy. Oh, okay. Because they're like. So it's exactly the opposite of the DD half elf, which yes. they're universally low. Yes. Because, okay. Uh, um, so this half elf is he wearing a hat with a green feather? Wait, wait, wait. Do I do I find him means. creepy? As <laughs> a human, he could be. Do I find him in like? If you're not racist, no. Oh, are you racist? racist? However, oh, okay, normally no. But his appearance does creep you out. Only gets sure, sure. pure because <laughs> he's wearing he's, he's wearing <laughs> humans and any bit of humans. A okay. <laughs> Look, as long as a human, I don't care. <laughs> he seems to be wearing a red shirt over his thing, uh, kind of like a jerkin with some brass buckles going up the side of it. Right up. Sweet. Yeah. And uh, his hair has been swept back, and you can Ooh. see that on one part of his face he's got a large burn mark, as if oh. the skin was burned, and the skin is kind of fused together. He's right. also got shovel scratch marks and notches on the other side of his face. Oh. His teeth have been purposely filed into points. Ooh. Oh, okay, so oh when you said I don't find him creepy, no, I yeah. do now find he, him creepy. His, his fingernails are also <laughs> slightly longer than you'd like them to be. Keep this description in mind when you get to season two of Agents of Shield. Uh, so I, he, comes, he comes striding <laughs> in through the door. You understand? All right. And the halfling. Hold on a sec. And the halfling, upon seeing him, turns around and goes, "What? How did you?" Uh oh, it's a boss. Oh, no. It's the it keepers. Is... Oh, a customer! Please come in, come in. Welcome to the Dulahan. Yes. Can we get you anything to eat? Greetings. It's rare for one of my kind to get such a kind welcome. We hear the Dulahan. Well, we pride ourselves. Off. Plus, I need to live up to Hensler's reputation, and I do not want to ruin mm -hmm. uh, anything that he's left me with. True, true. And he strokes his chin a little bit, and the halfling backs him goes, No. Um, <clears throat> and he, he, he holds his hand up. A moment. And he goes, You have no business here. This is my affair, and not yours. And certainly not the Vesperillos. Uh oh. And uh, it's uh, the feds uh, have come in to take the case away from the local police. Uh, uh, <laughs> and at that point, the Vesperilio, you would recognize that instantly. That's another Thieves' Guild in town. Oh. So, oh, okay. if cool. your Thieves' Guild runs the lower streets, the Vesperillos run the roofs. Oh, They're on okay. top of everything. They know how, they're masters of 
parkour city running sure, across right. the various streets and stuff. Their leader is incredibly secretive, right. and they're um, they're known from stealing from very rich people because they can get to the high towers and stuff. Uh, yeah. Have you guys seen the live action parkour video for Assassin's Guild? Assassin's no. Creed. Assassin's, Assassin's Creed. Creed. Creed? Yeah. yeah. Uh, like I'll send you guys a link. Like the really original awesome. one? Awesome. No, no, there's like the, there are four guys dressed in park. They're dressed oh, in Assassin's yeah. Creed outfits okay. oh, doing a parkour uh, run through Paris. Yeah, that makes I'll, sense. I'll, I'll yeah. imagine that that's how yeah. he, Oh, uh, let's post that video. Yeah. <laughs> he grins a little bit a and goes, yeah. Now, gentlemen, <clears throat> let's not be coy. And he's annoying, ignor ignoring the halfling. And the halfling goes, Listen, I don't know how you located this place, but you. I have no right it's to obvious. We have we have advertisements around, you know. Yeah, I mean, means. this is we a public sign. On the... He clicks his teeth together and goes, ignoring annoyance over here for a moment. How much for the coffin? Oh, well, oh, sounds oh, like this is that, an auction. I, I'm sorry, the guy but is asking us. Our guild does not How dare turn you? from the look, that we look, have made. We, yeah, we've already accepted the mission, and we're going to yes. see it through. I understand that the necessity of keeping honor among thieves is important. I also understand that the necessity of keeping well, excuse me, thieves, uh, well, general uh, honor, uh, is important. All right. But money talks, especially a thousand gold coins worth of money. Perhaps more, if you'd like to discuss. Look, it, it is not that we are owed, it, it is that we owe the city. But the halflings are representative of the see keepers, see right? not a guild in specific. Yep. Okay. We we need to see the <laughs> see this through. I like we need to protect the people. I I am sorry, but now this is a guild matter. Oh, it was a guild matter from the beginning. Well, see, the keepers have been trying uh, <clears throat> to keep the coffin now, from us for uh, some time. Now, I for one have gotten quite sick of their secreted ad attitude. It's necessary to keep certain things hidden. You don't understand the the power is. Regardless, my the keepers are the best people at keeping things hidden. If anything, that is by definition what they do. Did we accept this job on a guild look, look, look. basis? My I, I say uh, we would much prefer to be paid with information. My associate has the art, has a desire to own the artifact you all have in your possession. You must then acquire it from the keepers. There is no way I can change your minds. Uh, you offer, can change my mind. We would offer our services as payment as well. Perhaps you need something robbed, uh, I mean, <clears throat> acquired yourself. Sidebar. Do the guilds actually cut deals like this with each other, where they contract another guild to work with them? Or is this, this isn't, so he's not like... considering you a member of the guild. He probably doesn't even recognize you as a thief. Okay. And as okay. far as the keepers and the best yeah, really go, didn't. you'd imagine that this is two competing things. Yeah, so you we, didn't, we didn't okay. accept the job on a you know, field basis. Field basis. It didn't no. really come through the thieves. It came guild. through okay. the keeper. It came to the keeper to us yeah. as an independent group. Look, look, the thieves, I, so... the thieves Guild may only see this as a potentially power, powerful thing and have no idea what it is or exactly or what to do. We're clearly the halfway, who its name we still don't know. Okay. Yeah. You know, the halfway uh, goes around and goes, You are precisely the on. reason we had to go through this whole debacle with him in the first place. If yeah. your kind hadn't tried to unearth the cop, we wouldn't have to find another resting place for it. Okay, so I at this point the half -like. No, at this point I need to speak up because even though we haven't established in the game yet, so I can't say who it is, but I will speak up and say I speak for whatever the name of my guild is. Oh. And it's like <laughs> there is when a member of the guild blah blah blah, acts, we act for the sake of the guild. Because we have received this contract and we have fulfilled it, it would be dishonorable and in violation of all that you and I know that we stand for, for me to now turn and to sell this to you, even though we have signed contract with our friend here. Yes. He didn't sign any contract. No, no, no. Our, our have, job was simply... Words were spoken and we received, received payment. We, we still have... Thieves go after money, right? <laughs> That's the whole point. What's a little honor compared up next to this mountain of coin? No, no, no. That's exactly that that monster that coin will not buy the Trust. future monsters of coin we... we will lose if it gets out that we are the kind of guild that takes a contract, and then as soon as someone comes along with a bigger sack of money, we decide to turn on Look, them. Look, we as a group will be collectively be associated with any thieves guild. I it's too late. What? You, you what already are. It's too late. You already no, are. Look, he's, he's associated with a member, but yeah, not associated with a member. We'll simply take jobs with the Vesperillo in the future. We can finance all of your needs. 
Hell, see, look at that. We can oh, get sure. you better accommodations than this old place. Well, better accommodations? We were entrusted with this place. Okay, so, and this will again, fine. sidebar. Is your guild, like, known for being much more powerful than my guild? They're not. Your, your guilds are somewhat equal. Okay. But the best really are known for playing dirty. Alright. And also, I presumably have good feelings about my guild for having taken me in and like for the last five years sure. and stuff like that. I mean, you're not like right. high up or anything. But right, but like yeah, they yeah. haven't betrayed me and I don't feel like, no. oh, my guild is terrible and full of like yeah. cut throats. No. Alright. No. A deal is a deal. You know how this stuff works. We Do are more. Deal. In fact, at this point, I would... Look. Look, think of about the information we just struck a deal with from the Keepers. That information alone could be worth much more. My relationship with the Keepers is a long-standing one, and this has been a contract. Good day, sir. His jaw sets, and you hear a so sharp click as his teeth combine together. Look, basically, look. And he turns his chin to the You will regret this. Good day, sir. I already do. And he turns around and marches out the door. Wait, no, no, no food for you? Him. No, he's not. Ugh. Great. We I'm missed a customer. The halfling keeps. We never get. I turned the halfling. Like My apologies. I had We're no idea who this. he was when he entered. I would never have welcomed him had I known he was part of that group of vermin. Vermin. So I'm not part of a thieves guild, huh? Is that how it is? No, no. The, his his guild it's has fine. no sway over our operation. You you are still an independent. I'm not putting you under any contract, but. Once a member of the guild, always a member of the guild. Our word has to speak for the guild. If any of us ever acts outside of the guild's desires or shows betrayal or lack of honor, it speaks to the whole family. Well, I, I, I respect that. I feel like this should give us a little bit more, Mr. Keeper. He licks his lips a bit and goes, mm. information-wise, we, we need not... Uh, Don't need to pay us great, in money. Great you can simply pay us in... You know what I want. You understand that a man in my position is... Uh, <laughs> you understand that a man from my stand... From my... Mm. Yeah. From my, mm, you understand that a man from my point of view uh, views information as much more valuable than money. Correct? Well, we we know we we, we have understand. a right. To you know, are indeed to know yes, about yes, yes. Yes. Forgive me. The Forgive shadows. Me. When you these work creatures, when you work in the keepers for such a long time, you become used to hiding things from people and being secret. Well, I I apologize. I understand. We you will have a right to we know. will swear not to share these secrets with anyone else. But we deserve to know. That's been done before. But I understand. Uh, Worry not. Just come to the meeting place when necessary. Indeed. Excellent. Also, I, it, I would, I would hope that your associates will return quickly because those bastards are not known for their honor. And if you don't return quickly, it may be possible yeah. he returns with more men to try to forcibly take the casket. Well, within he the would hour. Pay us for a thousand when he could probably, he could probably steal it. Within the hour, indeed. Yeah. Right. Really good. And he and he moves up to the door and goes, oh, uh, oh, breakfast. Have you had breakfast? He's, he's no he's time for eating. breakfast. He's already been eating. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. I quite he's lost. He's a halfling. Come on. Yeah, he's looking past. He's quite lost his appetite. Yeah. 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 All right. Smash the skull. Good, good, good. I've quite lost my appetite, and he opens the door and shuts it. I don't head. believe him. We <laughs> lock <laughs> it behind him. <laughs> Quit sign up. When he tried to smash the skull, did it bounce like a ball? Like a yeah. Point? Like you said, it bounced. Uh, it just well. It yeah. bounced away that something solid that can't break. Like 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 a small. It's not like a something like a. he tried to smash it with like the mace, and it just. Was, was well, I just want to know if you could play very, some like, B-ball with yeah. this skull. Uh, that would be cool. Skull, that would ball. Be cool. skull ball. Skull ball. Starting your sport. I'm sad. I was hoping to have a five-eyed skull on my little thing. But that's, yeah, that's, that's gone. It's like that. that it'd be like, such a great the the conversation piece at Thanksgiving. It's like, hey, once oh, a year, yeah, you take it, it out as the like, centerpiece. It's like, hey, look at my skull. Something like that. Oddball? That's right. 